Praise God, praise God. I pray that you are having a blessed evening. Praise God, praise God. Alrighty. Um, hold on just one minute, you guys. Alrighty. Okay, so I don't have a big video, but it, it is very important. So basically, here's what's going on. I've had this vision, um, you know, I've been having a vision since 1997, where it's a dream or something like that, or sometimes even an open vision. All right, so basically, let me just get straight to the point what's happening. I've been, um, God's been telling me, write down phone numbers, write down people's information, write down passwords, write down we live in a society to where everybody is just remembering their phone you know let me give you a little short quiz be honest how many phone numbers do you remember see back in the day we used to have to write down no yeah we did we had to write down numbers we used to have our address book our rolodex who remember that so we've gotten comfortable but what we don't understand is that computers glitch Computers fail. Computers have made us so comfortable. I don't remember maybe two or three people's phone numbers, and I know so many people. I'm telling you, something is going to happen to where all personal information is about to get lost. I'm not kidding. It, it, I don't know what it is, is. I just see a glitch, and I see something happening on a global level so if you don't have phone numbers written down if you don't have addresses written down and you have everything in your phone honey I suggest you start writing them down take everything out your phone just start writing it down and, and look it's better to be prepared than something happening I should have could have would have so that's pretty much what I primarily came on here to say um, blackouts there's so many things that's coming down the pipe this is a time the only thing oh lord I got to say it how I said it the other day you're not safe no none of us are safe I don't care what kind of house you live in I don't care how much money you have I don't care if you're a millionaire billionaire no one is safe. What am I saying? Your only safeness is in God. Period. In the story. So this is an hour where we need to be preaching and teaching and reaching on a level that we've never known before. It is not about prosperity. It is not about money. Yeah, we need all that. Come on, let's be honest. You got to pay bills. You got to do this. You got to do that. It's not what's in your wallet. It's what's in your heart. What's in your heart? Because true people of God know that time is winding down, whether we like it or not. All you got to do is look around. <laughs> These are the end de days. People call evil good, good evil. It's about your salvation. Are you truly prepared? Are you saved for real? Not for play, but for real. Time out for all this foolishness. Life is too short. So I pray, I just want to come in and encourage you with, 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 excuse me, a sense of urgency. And I'm going to put myself, in, it, it's time to get it together like never before. It's time to do what God has called us to do on every level. People out there hurting, people in the church and out there, you know, I say this all the time. Everyone in the church is not safe. Miss me with that. And everybody out there ain't lost. <laughs> Let me say that again. Everyone in the church is not saved. And everybody that's in the streets, they're not lost. It is about your personal relationship with Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now, yes, we don't forsake the assembling of each other by coming into the house of God. But it's just time to make some real serious decisions about your salvation. This is a consistency thing. 
This is not how you feel, <laughs> what you want, what you don't want. Be careful. You know what? I, I don't know why, but I, I just feel led by the Holy Spirit, so I'm going to call. One of my good friends, love her dearly, and um, she shared with everyone how she's getting a divorce. And it brought me to this state because, and I'm going to say this because I feel like everybody, most people I know is in that boat. Everybody, everybody wants somebody to love them. You can say what you want. Maybe 2% don't. They'll never get married. Okay. But for the most part, most people want somebody to love them. I'm just saying this. Wait on God. Wait on God. Listen to me. A good thing is not a God thing. Somebody write that in the comments. A good thing is not a God thing. Honey, it could be good all day long. Because truth be told, both of them good people. But something happened. And I mean, just went straight to the left. Acting like they never thought they would act. One of them, at least. Don't judge nobody or bash nobody. It's so important for us to move with God. In God. Because when you don't, I promise you're going to go through some extra stuff that you don't want to go through. <laughs> I, hope you're, I hope you really understand what I'm saying tonight. I pray that you truly are. Make godly decisions. Not just good decisions, but godly decisions. And if God is not in it, have nothing to do with it. I don't care what nobody say. Don't have nothing to do with it. Period. End of story. You know, my heart hurts for people that are good people, but they made a decision because of this or because of that. I tell everyone, ask God for clarification and do not move without confirmation. Now, we've all been guilty of that. Say what you want, whether it's marriage, a job, this or that. We've all moved when we weren't supposed to, but we're supposed to learn. And the Bible says that Jesus, he humbled himself to the obedience of God. That's what it is. You see, when you got pride, you're going to do what you want to do. Nobody can't tell you nothing because ain't nobody know nothing but you. But when you truly get humble, you realize we all can make mistakes. We all. One situation can make you lose it all. One situation. So stop being arrogant. Because some of y'all, I don't know what to say. I'm like, I just be looking like, <laughs> watch what you say. Watch what you're saying. God could allow one thing, and, and then you'll be talking a different talk. Stop that. Be mindful of how you treat people. Be mindful of what you say. People are listening. They're looking at you. See, when it's good, we like to act a little arrogant like we got it going on. You got to be mindful. Because God, uh, me to, there's an old African proverb, me today, you tomorrow. Okay, all right, okay. So I'm not going to stay long, but I'm going to reiterate why I came up on here. I'm telling you, write down your phone numbers. Write down pertinent information. What am I saying? Get stuff out of your computers. Get stuff out of your phone. Write it down. Write it down. Get a journal, a book. Well, I don't know what you're going to do, but you better do something. Because when this crash or glitch happen, it's going to be permanent deleted. All your information. All right. You've been warned. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. Y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. Mm -hmm. Be blessed, everyone. Much love and respect.